recent years have seen the highest ever rise in dengue fever infections. In 2024, some 14.6 million cases were recorded globally. Compared to 20 years ago, the number has increased almost 30-fold. <coughs> the most notorious carriers of the virus are yellow fever mosquitoes. Formerly limited to tropical and subtropical climates, they now appear across the globe. Number one is the climate change. And with, with the variation in temperature, favorable temperature, they are really spreading further south, as well as to unknown territories where they have never existed previously. Climate change has caused the Earth's average temperature to increase 0.77 degrees Celsius over the last century in turn, allowing the spread of dengue fever. Within Asia, the Philippines is especially affected by the fever. In 2024, it reached a new record, including more than 1,000 deaths. The Philippines has faced not just rising temperatures, but guerrilla rains and typhoons. Floods in urban areas leave pools of water where mosquitoes thrive. In this episode, we examine the rise in dengue fever related to climate change and the toll it has taken on the Philippines. According to WHO reports, until the 1970s, dengue fever infections were reported in nine countries. Dengue fever later became common in the Americas and Europe and is now spread to more than 100 countries. Around half the world's population is susceptible to the infection. The Southern Asian country of Bangladesh experienced a record number of infections in 2023 at 320,000. The impact was so great that a dedicated treatment facility was opened in the capital of Dhaka. South America has seen similar increases. In Argentina, 570,000 dengue fever infections emerged in 2024, the highest ever there. The Pan American WHO staff sees a great threat bearing down. The transmission of dengue segue sendo a elimination of the creators of mosquito. The yellow fever mosquitoes spreading the infection are generally unable to mature from larvae at temperatures of 13 degrees or lower. Unfortunately, global warming has gained them new ground. Being located in Southeast Asia, the Philippines is one of the countries most directly affected by dengue fever. Hospitals in the capital of Manila have more new patients admitted with each day. Dengue brings high fevers, nausea and aches, and serious cases can cause low blood platelet levels, blood loss, and complications leading to death. To respond to the rise in infections, this hospital opened a ward specifically for dengue fever. The Department of Health states that infections have spiked in the last five years, with 410,000 cases in 2024. In 2025, the number of cases recorded as of April was up 75 percent from 2024. Yeah, actually, we were facing a real challenge for dengue right now. Uh, since the start of this year, we already had uh, around 300 to 400 percent increase of cases for the past. But for specific uh, medicines to combat dengue, no, we don't have. Though unable to prevent the disease, the focus has been placed on avoiding it by reducing the number of mosquitoes. Yellow fever mosquitoes lay their eggs in stagnant water. In just a small puddle, they can reproduce within a week. 
In Quezon City, residents take care not to let puddles form, conducting cleaning activities. Even a bucket or other hollow object can allow water to pool if overlooked. Tsaka ginagawa ko na rin namin yun kasi nung baby pa yan, nadingkid niyan yung anak ko. Siyempre, natatakot. Gaingat na rin kami kasi marami, din, marami na ako mga apo. Pito, pito dito sila yung lahat, lahat. Tapos mga anak ko pa. Despite this earnest effort, eliminating puddles entirely seems an impossible task. The greatest obstacle is flooding from gorilla rains. This graph shows rainfall levels in Manila. According to analysis by a Swiss research institute, the red line indicates rising levels over the last 45 years. Recent major typhoons have added to the problem. In 2024, six made landfall in just two months. Weather analysis group World Weather Attribution reports this frequency is unprecedented. As the country is subjected to heavy water damage, mosquito nurturing puddles form faster than they can be dried. Climate change has really something to do about it. Uh, the unpredictability of the climate, like right now it's going to rain and then the other, the next two days it's going, it's going to, we're going to have a heat wave, accelerates actually the dengue, the process of the, of the Aedes aegypti. To help combat the spread of dengue fever, a Japanese startup sprang into action. Sora Technology utilizes drones and AI in medical support and infection prevention. Their accomplishments include fighting the spread of malaria in Africa. Drones can fly overhead and take aerial photos to identify water where mosquito larvae may appear. They photograph a wide landscape, then use unique AI to analyze it. First, the surface temperature is analyzed to detect the locations of water. These are marked in pink. Other points, such as the water's transparency, are used by AI to judge the likelihood of larva presence. An app highlights high-risk areas with red icons and low-risk areas with green ones. They go to check the high-risk areas directly for the presence of mosquito larva. Ah, yes, yes. It's visible. It's visible. It's visible. It's visible. It's visible. It will rain. Ah, here. Ah, it's visible. It's visible. One, two, two, three. There are two. The larvae are found in an open water tank outside a home. Yellow fever mosquitoes are capable of reproducing even within small traces of water found in everyday objects. Tiny dangers lurking on the periphery of everyday life. This project was the first of its kind in the Philippines. If the AI data is refined further, it should enable more accurate findings and the identification of other water posing a risk. According to a 2020 study by the U.S. National Institute of Health, with each degree the global temperature rises, the number of dengue infections increases by 35%. As global warming picks up speed, Swift countermeasures to the spread of illness are a matter of life and death. <laughs>